when I was talking to him on the live, him and his buddy had been slamming Budweiser's and were like quite drunk. Not like too drunk, but pretty drunk. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yo, hello and welcome to this installment of You Gotta Get to Grubbin' While the Grubbin's Good Before the Pre-Pandemic Apocalypse. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I do really mean that before my city gets, you know, fully locked down. I've been fully been like, I gotta get the last of the goods, like a couple orders of those things that I know and love. That said, I haven't had KFC in a hot, hot couple, like I want to say just like some months for sure. And I definitely haven't had anything other than like the sandwiches. Like I haven't had like pieces of fried chicken in so long. So very excited into this. Got a hot deal on this box today. Very, very good. Um, but you know, before we do anything more, we must pour. So I've got the iceberg with the ice maker Christmas cubes and today we are bringing back an old friend a comrade the doctor is in the building okay so we slow fizz we make it nice and uh, while that's fizzing up while I was checking out uh, on this like meal deal box it didn't give me the option for extra crispy and normal KFC chicken is kind of like that like more sloppy kind of like loose greasy skin and I don't really play that so I called the dude at the store and he was like, I asked him if I could hit up the extra crispy recipe. He said, sure, no problem. Didn't even upcharge me or nothing. So I mean what I truly mean to say once we get this fizzed to the top to the truth is uh, shout out that guy because that's true respect. I love that when it's not finicky and they're just like, yeah, like it's not going to cost you anything. I'm like, that's great. So I much appreciate that. All right, many sauces, ketchup, this sauce that I'll explain to you, and this sauce that I'll explain to you, as well as KFC gravy, which is unreal, so good. Popcorn chicken, a four piece, extra crispy, some fries, and some coleslaw. And they obviously gave up the toxic green coleslaw at some point, which is cool with me honestly and lastly a single honey mustard i did ask for two i am very disappointed that only one came but hey what can you do he did give me the extra crispy recipe so there was a little room for error there okay so i just need to get bitten st stuck into one of these pieces i don't know which one is like a breast or a thigh but i want one of the big boys so one of these two has got to be like a breast or a thigh. Check that out. Oh yeah, this is the piece I'm looking for. That nice, clean white meat. And I'm trying it in this lemon herb, mayonnaise, citrus. Style sauce. Look out for bones. Style sauce. For the very first time. Mm. But it's so good. It's been so long since I've had KFC or even proper fried chicken for that matter. here for it this sauce ranch uh, pepperoncini juice and barbecue 
and buffalo. You've seen that blend on the channel before. A little hoodie blend. It is what it is. Very good. Watch out for bones. But on the really, really real, that's how I've been feeling with, uh, you know, I don't want to name any names. I think we can all assume what I'm talking about, but for the sake of YouTube being a little bitch, um, we can just assume that because of what's going on globally, I uh, high key have been like, I got to get. the last of the things in when I can still get food like this before everything is shut down this is popcorn chicken with this amazing honey mustard by the way KFC's honey mustard goes stupid goes so dumb as does their gravy which I'm about to run a train on right now we're going to pick a pack of Peter Pickle Pepper fries. We're going full intensity. Ketchup first. Gravy next. Mouth. After that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Amazing. I have to say, across all the places, KFC definitely has some of the best fries when they come piping hot, which they are right now. They are. Magnifico. Too hard to trot. Starving today, as you can tell. Definitely got to get in this coleslaw. I'm very intrigued. I have not tried this new KFC coleslaw. The last time I had it, it was that like nuclear power plant green. Mm. More on the tart side. Definitely like more vinegary than sweet. A little bit of a bum stain for me because I love a sweeter style coleslaw. But, as Guan Tran would say, it's still all good. Speaking of that boy right now, I was <clears throat> maxing and relaxing, chilling all cool, shooting some b-ball inside my bed. 
when I saw that him and his buddy Wilson were like on a sp like a split screen live on Instagram live and so I went in to the live I started commenting trying to get Quan's attention which I successfully did and he was like he's like yo black hoodie like, he's like he's like hit me up in my inbox and in my DMs or whatever to get the cook battle going because we were supposed to cook battle like so long ago and then my life got twist turned upside down but uh seems he's still down and I am soon going to be in a situation where I can actually carry out said battle I did hit his inbox and uh, and I also commented directly on his photos and he still hasn't hit me back though but what sucks though is that when you rec when you send messages DM on Instagram to people like that it goes to like a request box so he's probably just missing it because he's not checking his request box. So I don't know. I gotta flag this man down. But that would be so dope to get a good battle going with him. It might not help though that when. Uh, when I was talking to him on the live. Him and his buddy had been slamming Budweiser's. And we're like. Quite drunk. Not like too drunk but. Pretty drunk. But yo. I was actually laughing my ass off on their live stream because outside like off of the the camera of him in his house like cooking and that it was actually mad funny yeah it should be stupid funny to drink with I feel like Yo, so also Another thing I wanted to say During this was I can't stress this enough This dip on this piece I can't stress that enough But what I can't stress enough is If you're one of these people quarantined and locked up, you're off work, and you got you finally have free time in your life to do something you've been meaning to do creatively whatever start a podcast try youtube start a blog now is the time now is the time to take advantage of your free time and put it to the test 
don't just sit around and crush Netflix. This, that, and the third, like, just don't get trapped in your, like, more default, like, the things you do when you come home after work because you're tired and lazy or whatever, right? Like, now is the time to capitalize on an opportunity. We got to turn, you got to turn the shitty situation into a beneficial one. Just try YouTube. Start writing the book. Start writing your script. Whatever the fuck it is. Make more music. Now is the opportune moment for that. Might as well. Got nothing to lose. Learn a new skill. Just try to have a a mini come up. Or like a little growth period for something you've been needing to do. Serious. Do it like Quan does it. <laughs> he always drinks his gravy. Which is understandable because it's so good like that. Man, he has you gravy. Something else. Also, try your best. I've been feeling pretty miserably at it, if I'm honest. But try your damnedest to not uh, <coughs> boredom eat all your quarantine supplies and your snacks and that. I've been finding myself dipping in. To the snack attacks. But just out of sheer boredom. Not boredom. Because I'm like doing stuff. And I'm working on things. I don't know. Just. You know what it might be? It's that. In order for me to achieve. state of non-snackery and not like overindulgence like that is usually for me it's out of sight out of mind so I don't keep a ton of shit in the house I basically grocery shop for like a, what's good for like a few videos and then I will just kind of like preserve those groceries for my videos and because of that I don't have a gang of shit around. But right now, I got a gang of shit around. And it's like, very hard. To just grab a little snack here, a little snack there, make a little sandwich here. Microwave a little burrito there, you know what I mean? But I usually don't keep food like that. So that's how it's become problematic. That was perfect. That was proper. That was banging. 
I really wish the coleslaw was sweeter. There's still like half a thing left. Not really into it. It's just a little too tang for me, but uh, everything else was great. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Please take my words and use them. Do some shit that you have never done or whatever. Work on some shit. Start on some shit you've been putting off. Uh, until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.